Tell me when. Mm-hmm. Yes, good. Okay. So this is a recording of Christian's brainwaves during the meditation. This was his baseline alpha here, around yeah. five microvolts. During the first breathing exercise, it peaked up at maybe 13 and a half. Uh, stayed up for a while, then this came back while further meditation instruction was being given. And this is during the fast breathing exercise, um, going up to like 18 microvolts, and then being sustained around 15. And then this is a really cool point here, is the intersection or the touching of the theta and the royal blue and the alpha and the aqua. That's typically a moment of insight or an aha moment. The interesting thing to me is that his gamma went up. This is gamma along the bottom. His gamma went up at the same point. Wow. So Christian says something else happened here, but he hasn't told us yet. And (laughs) it looks pretty dramatic. Um, This was a... At least don't tell us it was just gas. Okay. And this was um, sort of the cool down period here. His alpha alpha came back to baseline. So, what, um, is, that when we the, breath? is there any other experiences that this is ever presented? Is there any other, like, anything relative to this? Or is this something you need? Have you ever seen? Um, the gamma is unusual. Yeah. Um, I've only recorded two people increase, increasing their gamma. Um, one person was recalling an event where she met Mother Teresa. And I she gave her, her a coin, which did you also? It is unusual. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, when she recalled that event, her gamma. Ah. Oh. This was just pure YouTube power of reading music. Oh, yes. Yeah, that, that, that wow. Amazing. And that's There's to do with the height and the that to. modes. Pardon? That's to do with the like, heightened kind of brainwave states of mm-hmm. like hyper inspiration. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. So, the interesting thing about gamma is very few people, we generally don't have gamma. And wow. uh, they, they brain map the Dalai Lama. And the Dalai Lama, everybody expected to have low beta, you know, the theta, alpha, uh, but he had really high ga- uh, gamma all over his brain. Wow. So, gamma is also kind of a bliss frequency. Yeah. Bliss frequency. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it's actually the binding frequencies of reality. And you, that track, that last track is called Serotonin Sunrise. Yeah. And we've actually used that. Like lots of our fans of our music, they've, they've come to us because they suffer from things like anxiety and depression. And there's people who have come off antidepressants. Yeah. Just <coughs> listen to that track on repeat. Everyone, yeah. they swear by it. And that's why we call it serotonin and sunrise. No. <laughs> I don't think it gives them some agility with their alpha state. So yeah. Into it coming out. Since we came out, his alpha actually has been lower before it started. Okay. Yeah. So he had he boosted the low alpha frequency. Is that right? Or? Um, it would be interesting. I don't know if I can. Um, I'd have to do some analysis to see um, where his peak alpha frequency was. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it looks like it went up to around. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's like so exciting. Thank you, guys. That's magic. That's magic.